Welcome back my beauties and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already please hit that like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So this company Pretty Diva reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try some of their dip powders and this is the first company that has reached out to me um, asking me to try anything and I was super super excited so of course I said yes. <laughs> um, so this is what the package looked like when it comes. It is wrapped with this plastic and I love the packaging. I think it's very beautiful. Gives me like a vintage vintage uh, feel, but it's really, really, really pretty. Um, just gonna turn it over, some manufacturing information there. Um, but overall, the packaging was pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip this paper off so we can get into these dip powders. So it comes with 20 dip powders and it's a, a nice variety of colors. They're all pretty pastel. Only thing I didn't like is that it didn't come with uh, dipping liquids. And so you have to use your own, um, but that was okay for me. Um, and then I decided not to swatch them one by one because 20 dip powders, that's a lot in my videos, pretty long just from the review portion of it. But the bottles are 0 0.34 uh, milliliters, so they're pretty small, but it'll work for you if you're just doing your own nails. And I do actually like the outer portion of this bottle with this gold. It's really cute. So these are all of the colors side by side after I swatched them. And my swatch sticks were a little long, so I just did halfway. But the colors are absolutely gorgeous in this kit. Like I said, they're just a bit pastel. And then I'm going to show you them five five at a time. So these are the first five. It gets you get two glitters, and for the first five, I did it underneath. That's why I'm turning it over, so you can see the real effect with top coat on these uh, dip powders. And this is six through 10, and they are more of your like greens, and there's a yellow there, um, really cute colors. And then this is 11 through 15, and these are more purples. There's some blue, green, very cute colors, I feel, in this uh, collection. Something for everyone. And these are the last five that's going to be 17 through 20 and they're the lightest shades like pinks, nudes, um, like off-white, very, very pretty colors in this collection. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my set and I'm using my Kier Sky recycling tray and I'm going in first with the base on all of the nails. Uh, so you want to apply the base to the nail. Um, in entirety and make sure when you're applying your base for your dip powders that you're not getting it on your skin because pretty much every anywhere you place this uh, dip powder the actually excuse me the dip base the dip powder will stick um, so for today's prep I did not do anything to keep them on I'm using my aunt base coat peel off base coat um, and this is a base coat I use only if I have minimal filing because it works so well that when you're filing, they will fall off. So <laughs> I only use this most of times if I'm doing like a press on set um, and it works amazing if you're looking for a good peel off base uh, for something like uh, press ons. So after I get the dip set, I go ahead and just pour that over my nail, over the re recycling tray so that it's able to catch the dip powder. And then I do pat that off. What I noticed is from a previous video I did with a Beatles dip, if you've been watching me, when I did my pour over, it poured over evenly and I didn't have any problem. With this one, I mean, the end result is great, but when I poured over, I did notice that there were areas that were raised a little more than others. Um, but that's the only thing that I can say right now with this dip system. 
Um, and then um, the tips I'm using today are Kiara Sky's long coffin tips. Um, and going back to prep, if you want them to stay, you would want to take a cuticle pusher and push back your cuticles. You're going to go around your cuticle to remove any dead skin. And then you're going to buff the shine off of your natural nail so that the product has something to hold on to. And you can apply your tips with either base, base coat, glue, uh, whatever you prefer so that they are long lasting. So the color I chose to use was number 19 and it's a very beautiful uh, pink shade, kind of like pink peachy shade, a really really beautiful. So I'm basically just doing that over my index, middle, and pinky and I am going to be applying like three layers of this because of the fact that it wasn't really leveling out when I poured it over. I was just trying to see if I can like fill it in and make it more smooth as I'm used to with dip powder. So I wouldn't have so much filing um, so off camera I do do two more coats I only do one on camera of each of the colors that I chose to use today um, but dip powder is a very simple way to get a great manicure so it's very beginner friendly and I fell in love with it after trying it again for a second time so the next color that I'm going in with is number two and that's one of the glittery shades and you're just doing the same thing basically applying that dip to your nail um, making sure to pour that on your nail um, and then the only thing about the glitter now i watch a channel gp nail art if you have not checked her out please do i absolutely love jessica she does the greatest dip powders manis ever um but i watch her a lot and when she has like glittery dips sometimes she goes in and picks up you know different pieces of the glitter to add to the nail and i'm not experienced in that way at all yet so i had to do this one three times as well to, just to kind of build up the opacity of getting some of those glitters onto the nail and it came out okay for me So the best thing about dip for me is that it does dry on its own. Um, that's like a really cool effect of this uh, to be able to get uh, nails without minimal uh, LED, uh, UV LED lamp time. And so now I'm going over my glitter nails with base again and I'm going to be pouring clear acrylic over them just to encapsulate those glitters so that when I go to file shape and buff, I don't take off many of those glitters. And this is what the nails are looking like after just the application only. It's not too bad, nothing that a little filing can't fix. And so now I'm going in with my activator, which is step two, just to go ahead and uh, harden up those nails so that I am able to go in and file shape and buff. And I apologize, I was a little off frame. Um, like I stated in a previous video, my Nelfi diamond is usually the center for me so that I know I'm in the camera, so I apologize. And this is what they're looking like after I file shape and buff. I did try to get it as smooth as possible, but I noticed the more I filed, looked like, you know, I was gonna like file to the tip. So I just left it as is, not too bad. So now I'm going in with my nail art portion of the video. And for this set, I'm doing Christmas cookie nails. So on all of my pink nails, I will be drawing different shapes of a Christmas cookie. And for the index, I am going to be drawing a house. I'm using Sugar from the Femi Beauty and McCart uh, collaboration, nude collection. And I'm just gonna draw the outline of my house. And once I get the outline set, I do go ahead and fill it in in entirety with that color and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds.
And then I'm going in with this white widow's polish and I'm just making the top of that roof just like um, a line to kind of distinguish it. And then I'm gonna go in towards the bottom and make like the window area of the house as well, curing in between for 30 seconds. And then I'm going in with my dotting tool and just making little white dots around the house and that's because I'm going to be putting color on it just to give the house a little bit more color. And I'm taking the shades from a Model 1's kit. So there's a blue, a red, a green, and a yellow that I'll be using from those kits and I'm going to just be placing them there onto those white dots just to give the house, like I said, a little bit more color. Then I'm taking brownie from the same Femi Beauty in the Card collection. I'm just outlining the house uh, just to so that you can distinguish where the cookie was. Um, when I thought this out, I didn't think that that background would be so close in color, but they're actually very close. They're not the same at all, but just because they're both so light, um, it didn't really work out how I planned. And so I am outlining it so that we can just see that cookie a little better. On my middle finger, I'm going to be drawing a gingerbread man. And this is something I've been wanting to do. I kind of wanted to do it on longer nails, um, but I did use the shorter nails for this set just because I um, felt like with dip powder, the shorter nails are a little better. I am gonna be trying a dip powder set with longer nails just to uh, see, but I did wanna go in with shorter nails to start with this kit anyhow, just to kind of see how the dip powders work. So I'm basically making the outline of my gingerbread with the same sugar color and then I'm going to fill it in, cure for 30 seconds and go in with the details of the gingerbread. I hope everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And I always take a portion of my video just to show my appreciation to you all because um, I am so new to this. Like, I've been doing it for a while, but there's a few things I can work on. And everyone's been very supportive, and I overly appreciate it because with practice, you can only get better. Um, but I would like to take the time to thank anyone who has watched any one of my videos. It is greatly appreciated. And to anyone that's new to the channel, welcome to the Nail Addict family. Uh, I thank you so much for joining me on my nail journey. And to anyone who's been subscribed, you guys are so supportive. And you make me feel so good about myself. And I appreciate you so much. And I love you all dearly. So now I'm taking this white beetles polish and I'm just making sleeves for the gingerbread man. And once I get the sleeve set, I do go ahead and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. Go back in with that same white gel polish and make like the bottom portion of his pants just to kind of distinguish that and cure for 30 seconds. And then I go in and make a bow right up right around his neck area. And of course, cure in between that as well for 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna go in and make some buttons down his stomach, his mouth, and his eyes. And I do cure in between everything for 30 seconds. And I will be using this white shade for all of that. So white, right over the white dots that I did with the dotting tool, I'm using the red, yellow, and green and just distinguishing those uh, buttons and then I cure. And then after that, I go in with the mouth 
and the eyes with the white gel polish and then over the white gel polish on the eyes I go in with that blue just to kind of make his eyes. Then as I did with the uh, house, I am going around the gingerbread with brownie as well to just outline the cookie. And a tip when you're doing nail art, as much as you can, you want to cure so that you're not messing up anything, especially if you're doing something that's really detailed or you don't want to mess anything up. You just make sure to, you can just flash cure like 10, 15 seconds. I'm just showing you all and just giving my opinion on it. Um, but this company sent this over to me a few days ago and I kind of just wanted to get a set out with it so that if they did want to work with me in the future or send me anything else to try, they would be willing to do so being that I'm able to do something in a timely manner. Um, so I felt like I could have did a lot better on this set, but I do think that it still came out pretty cute. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, please do so. My Instagram handle is now she, and there I do post my YouTube tutorial nails as well as other nail sets I do and do not record. Also on Instagram, it's a great way for you to DM me with any recreations you may want to see. So again, with this last cookie, I am doing the same thing as far as outlining it with brownie so that we can see the cookie a bit better. So then on my uh, thumb, I decided to write the word O and I decided to use the brown. I was going to use black, but there's really not much black in the set itself um, and the brown showed up okay. So I'm writing the word O on my thumb and then I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then across my other nails, I'm going to write the word snap. So the S will be on the index, the N on the, the middle and so forth and so on. And I decided to write O snap because they're ginger snap cookies. And so it just was befitting for me. And it gave the nails a nice effect and it came out super cute. Uh, so I do write all of my letters on my uh, fingers and then I cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then on my glitter nails, I did not know what I wanted to do. Um, I first was thinking about putting some bling on them just to kind of bring out the glitters a little more. I didn't know how that would look. So I'm using these stickers that I got from my Urinal Lab box for December from a cart. And I'm just gonna be placing them randomly over that nail. And I think it came out okay. I just didn't know what to do. So this is what I came up with. So I'll be taking those and placing them on my ring and my thumb to complete my set. And my video is coming soon with the unboxing of the December You Are Now Lab. I just had to get this one out of the way. Um, I already recorded it, but I'm just trying to get this video out first, which is why you're getting a sneak peek of the stickers, some of the stickers that were in that box.
And then I'm gonna go ahead and top coat all of my nails, curing in the lamp afterwards for 30 seconds. The last step for any uh, manicure you decide to do is cuticle oil. So that's what I'm doing now, just moisturizing my cuticles. So I wanna thank Pretty Diva again for sitting over this dip system. And overall, I think that the dip system was okay. I do wish they had their own dip liquids, but that's okay if you're someone that does dip powder, you have the items to use. I am gonna try this again in a future set, just to give it another try and a better review because it's okay, but it could have been a little better. And this is the finished product. Um, I think they came out okay. So let me know what you think down below of my nail set. And if you've made it this far, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets. I thank you all so much. I'll see you in my next one, and much love.